Hello, this is Gary Fox, and we're on episode, or we're on tutorial number five. And on tutorial number five, we're going to talk about printing this uh, drawing that we created, that we fully dimensioned in tutorial number four. Okay, there's really not a whole lot to printing, the simple printing, anyhow. There are these two buttons up here, print, print preview, and then we also have our zoom buttons that we'll use again. But uh, first we'll go ahead and we'll hit print preview. You'll always want to print preview first. And when you do, you'll see a couple of different things. First, I should do this in, in a landscape view and not portrait because a landscape will put more of the object on there. So we'll go ahead and we'll exit out of this view. We'll go up here to edit, current drawing preferences, and on our paper we'll set landscape. Now we'll go back to print preview again. Okay, it looks a little better. It's a little better fit on the paper now. Now the very first thing that you're going to want to do in most cases, you're going to want to toggle to black and white, so all the drawings shown in black and white. Okay, we've got this thing called center to page, which is the way it came up this time. And we got fit to page. Uh, center to page centers it right on the page, and fit to page makes it as big as it'll fit. And you see that I've got an odd scale right up here, in the, right next to the black and white button. There's a scale factor right here. If this drawing was trying to be drawn as one inch equals one inch, it wouldn't fit on the paper. So we do fit the page. That causes it to fit on the page, but it really doesn't, unfortunately. I've printed this out in this way, and the word ream does not show up. It goes past the borders of what the printer can print. So, ideally, I would go ahead and set this at 1.25. 1.125. And it probably will fit right now. Uh, and that's a problem. Now, if I make it, if I, usually you don't care about a drawing being exactly to scale because you fully dimensioned it so you want a drawing as big as you can have but if you want it to scale you go one to two and that'll fit it on the paper and that would give an okay that would give an okay looking drawing a few other things that we need to straighten out if you remember right we set center and dimension lines I'm sorry hidden lines we set those to uh, widths, and, and so they have a little bit of width to them, and that will make them darker looking on the, the uh, page. Our dimension line we set to a little bit smaller, which means that it will be a little bit dimmer, and that's a good thing probably. But our main object, we never set the uh, width on that. And we need to set it so that it's darker than the hidden lines and the others to make it really look nice. So we'll set that at 0.25 uh, because our others are set at 0.18. And now that drawing, when we print it out, it'll probably look okay. I need to reset this 1 to 2 or 1 to 1.25 something like that. We go 1.15. And we're now ready to print. And so all we do is hit the print button and it goes out to the printer. Uh, there's nothing for me to show for you on that one. So that pretty much takes care of how to do a simple print. I'm going to have a uh, tutorial 5A, I guess, or 6. We're going to talk a little bit more about setting up the printer. Unfortunately, I'm at five, uh, almost five minutes now, so I know I do, don't have enough time to do that uh, without running over on the uh, YouTube maximum length. So we'll come back with another tutorial on that. Appreciate you listening. 
The Scary Fox. Thank you.